NFL teams in every division that could surprise in 2023. This from the 33rd team. Those are former executives and coaches uh, from the NFL. AFC North, Marty Morningwig. Watson is the key to the Browns' hopes. If Kevin Stefanski and the Browns can get Sean Watson to play at the level he was a few years ago, they might have the opportunity to win the division or slip into the playoffs. Dave Wanstad, also former coach. Cleveland can rock the division. Watson cannot be as bad as he was last year, so I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm also going to give the coach and the offensive coordinator the benefit of the doubt. They're under a lot of pressure, and they will respond and get a good year out of Watson. And, and those are guys in Morningwig and, Wa- and Wanstead who understand the pressure of, of what Kevin Stefanski is under because they have been in his seat as a head coach. Yeah, we've said it several times. There's no excuses. But I think the moves they did on defense, I mean, they overhauled the defense with some big-time players. And like I said, I think Jim Schwartz is the key. If that defense, usually they say defense travels. If they can keep the Browns in games and tell Watson the offense, you know, get their feet under them and get the ball running, so to say, I think I think that they can win the division. I mean – Lamar Jackson, you know, he's a great player, but the Browns showed that even with Joe Woods in that defense, they kept him under control ever since that 47-42, you know, primetime shootout. They had his number, and I, I don't see them regressing there. And Joe Burrow, the Joe Woods in the defense, able to do a pretty good job against Burrow and and the Bengals. And so I just think that they have the ingredients. Now you got to mix it right. But I think, I think they should be right in the hunt. Obviously there's a lot of things injuries could happen, you know, or for whatever reason, they don't mesh like we all think they will. But I, I surely think, you know, I've said this, but this roster is better than last year's roster. And I thought last year's roster was maybe the best, roster in the 30 some years I've covered this team so right now in May they have the best roster that I've had the privilege to cover this team 